your story is pretty well known because I think you fall in that category of artists that knew what they wanted to do from a very young age, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you really knew. Yeah, I always knew. As soon as I knew it was a profession, I knew that it was mine. Like, I didn't um, ha ever have to decide what I wanted to be when I grew up. That sets a really high expectation, too, right? Like, mm -hmm. especially coming from a modest background. Tell me, because you went to Juilliard, which mm -hmm. is, I think, sort of the punchline to the joke of the most artistic, the most intellectual, the most whatever. You go to Juilliard if you are that person. So mm -hmm. how did you even know that that was a path? I didn't know what my path was going to be. I just knew what I was going to do. And that could have meant I was w working in the Bay Area in theater. In a play, I did Romeo and Juliet with someone who just got into Juilliard. And that's what made me go, wait a minute, if he got in, maybe I should audition because maybe I could get in since we're playing Romeo and Juliet together. Right. Before that, I never even imagined that I could get into that school. Um, so I just kind of followed these paths that showed themselves to me. Do you remember your audition to yes. get in? What was it? Um, well, we were um, we did two monologues. Each of us um, was required to do two monologues. So I did a modern piece from Seascape with Sharks and Dancer, and then I did Juliet from Romeo and Juliet Gallop Pace. And you got what someone to film you, and you sent it in, or is it? No, live? you audition in person. I auditioned in San Francisco. Oh, you did. Okay. Yep, I got my car towed that day. I I borrowed my mom's car and I drove to San Francisco, and. I was so afraid of being late because I knew it would be a terrible thing to be late and the traffic was pretty intense going from Sacramento to San Francisco. So I parked in this lot and I got lost and I was just like, I'm not going to be late. So I didn't pay the thing to park there. Right. And I ran and I thought, well, at lunchtime I'll pay or whatever. And then my car was gone. <laughs> so I went and got it uh, before the call back uh, that night. No kidding. Mm -hmm. But I was very happy going to get that towed car because I was called back to the afternoon session. 